Thank you, Lord Jesus. Steve. I talked to you yesterday, and you said you wanted to do today the procedures. And I've been trying to contact you since morning, and you're not answering any phone calls. And I told you, no local authorities in your area has the information. It seems like you disclose this information to someone, and I don't know if you're busy, or maybe someone told you it's a fraud or something. From the government, or you maybe the police or whatever. And if anyone told you something like that, that's because they don't know what's going on, because they don't have the information. I told you that's why it's been taken care of by the headquarters. But if necessary, if the warrant is out, then the police will have the whole information. Then only. If you, if you actually, you know, call the police and require, I mean, inquire about this, they will give you false information, telling you maybe it's a scam, because they do not have the information yet. So if now there's roughly about two hours before I leave my office. So if you can call me back before that, I can help you. If not, I'll have to report it to the courthouse. The court will suspend your social security number, shut all the accounts down, take all your money, and we'll have you arrested within an hour. And like I told you, Consequences of these kind of charges, minimum imprisonment of 9 to 10 years, unbearable, penalty of 80 to $90,000. And every asset, properties, money, house, everything you have will be taken away from you. And even if you're out after seven years' time in jail for 10 years, once you're out, you're not going to have anything. You will not have anything at all. Poverty, assets, money, you're not going to have anything at all. The court will make sure of that. So you got two hours. Call me. If you're busy, you can just tell me. And after two hours, once you got arrested, even if you've begged me a million times, there's nothing I can do to help you. So you better call me or else I'm going to have to report to the court. You've got two hours. I'm telling you this as a concern, Anthony. I don't know if anyone told you this scam. I'm repeating this again because maybe you contacted the police, but like I said, they don't have the information. I told you that because there are corrupted government officials involved in this, which is why it has been taken care of by the headquarters. I told you that. So you better give me a call back in two hours. Anthony. You requested me that you want to conclude this procedure today, not yesterday. And I accepted that. I requested the court, and the court is expecting this to be taken care of by today. And I don't know what's going on. You're not answering the phone. I tried calling you a couple of times, several times, actually. I don't know if anyone told you anything. But like I said, no one has this information. No police, no government agency, social security, no one has this information. Fraud department, no one has this. Because I told you, corrupted government officials are involved in this. So it's been taken care of by the headquarters. So now, like I said, call me back as soon as possible. Help me help you, Anthony. You are doing this for yourself, not for anyone. Keep that in mind. You are doing this for yourself and your days to come which will affect your career or your life. So, as a concern, I'm calling you over and over. You see, if you think that this is a fraud or something, let me tell you something. I work for the government. I can directly get access to all of your accounts and get the money out. Or in a different way, I'll be coming up with an excuses, asking you for your bank account number, routing number, your credit card number, which will be the easiest and the fastest way to take money out of you. But we're not doing that because we are from the government. And we're asking you to do true cards and stuff like that for security reasons to make sure no one knows what's going on. Because as I told you, these criminals, they'll be watching you. So even if you go here and there, they'll think that you're just doing something that you do on your regular basis. If they see you going to the police station or, you know, contacting the police and talking about this, or walking around with government officials, they'll definitely come to know about it and you'll face the consequences. And I told you, there is very high chances your phone could be tapped. And I don't know if you 
call anyone and talk about this to any, anybody. I'm not sure. But whatever decision it is that you're going to make, I want you to give me the confirmation before anything bad happens to you, buddy. I'm calling you over and over as a concern. So help me help you as a brother to a brother. If you think that this is a fraud or something, actually, then I wouldn't dare calling you back again. I'll be gone. But we are trying to finish everything that we started. And we're not asking any personal information as well from the government. So call me back as soon as possible. Anthony.